Many schools across Kenya are opening up their schools today, a time in which the teachers have threatened to strike countrywide. In Kibera, we visited a few schools just to find out what the situation is like in terms of the turnout and how ready the schools are to pick up from the August holiday. In Raila education, there was a lot of mud that delayed their settling down. They first had to put stones around to reduce the amount of mud in their school compound. And remember, this is a school that the secondary section was demolished just a few weeks ago due to weak structure. Therefore, some of the primary classrooms will be used by the secondary students, something that might affect them in a way. My name is uh, Carlos Bago. I'm the headmaster of Raila Educational Center, primary section. But it won't take long. We have to finish it before 10. Before 10, it will be all over. You would have think right now, they are now doing the finishing touches. In Old Kibera, the pupils were on assembly, ready to start off their learnings. While in Kibra Academy, this is a private school, the turnout was really low, and the head teacher says that they are even afraid of the upcoming teacher strike. Okay, my name is Aran Sabo. I am the head of this school. In regard to, first of all, I'd like to thank you for the interview and for your interest in education in Kibera. Normally when we open schools, the turnout is always very low because many students have traveled up country and they're just reporting. So to me, the turnout is moderate. Not what I expected, but not worse. But of course we are worried about the teacher strike and uh, it might affect us in one way or another. Because if uh, students in public schools are not in school, their counterparts in private will feel that they also need to be out. The pupils and students received it in different ways. Some were very happy to be back. Monday! My name is Matilda Mugala. I'm in standard six. I like our class. I have my friends. I love all people when we are on holiday. I missed everyone, but now I've seen them. Some were late for school, and some were also caught up in the holiday hangovers. Owino Joshua, reporting for Kibira News Network, Nairobi, Kenya.